it is Friday and I am finally picking up my camera to film. I meant to do this yesterday, but I got so busy at work that by the time I got home, I just didn't feel like it if I'm being honest. So hello, welcome, happy Friday. <laughs> we are, let's see, four days into the Gilmore-thon and I have finished one book. Um, the, uh, gosh, what's the name of it? Um, Lord of the Rings. I I keep wanting to say Lord of the Rings, but we have finished that one. I actually ended up listening to it on audiobook, so I was able to listen to a lot of it in my commute the last few days, and it was cute. Um, I would say I'd give it about a three and a half, kind of one of those reads where it's easy, you're not really expecting a lot out of it, and so it was just entertaining all around. So checking that one off the list, and I believe that fit under the um, finish a series criteria? Oh gosh, now I'm forgetting and I have to check my phone because I'm not at all prepared for this. Let's see. Quick jump to me remembering cozy book set during fall criteria, which just like I thought right up my alley with that setting, um, the town was getting ready for their Halloween celebration and so we got all of that description, all of those kind of cozy autumn vibes. So checking that one off the list. Next, I think I'm going to actually pick up uh, one book, <laughs> one book in the grave, which satisfies the um, finish a book in a series criteria. I think this is like the fourth one or maybe the fifth one, I'm not sure, but I'm already, I started it earlier this morning and I'm already 20 pages in so I believe it's probably gonna be a quick read and if I have enough free time today hopefully I can get the majority done if not done so I'm gonna have some coffee and <laughs> in true Lorelei and Rory fashion it is black well there's sugar in it but it's black and I really need caffeine guys um Fun fact for all of you Gimbal Girls lovers out there, Rory, or Alexis Bledel, the actress who plays Rory, didn't like coffee, so whenever there are scenes with her drinking coffee, it was actually soda. Um, I'm the opposite. I don't drink soda, so give me all the coffee. <laughs> Okay, so the lighting in here is not great, at least on camera, but um, I have my book and I've actually got some time before my next meeting, um, about an hour, so I'm going to see how many pages I can bang out. I wanted to vlog it for the accountability <laughs> so that I'm not wasting time on Instagram. So got my book, got my coffee that is almost done, and I've got the pups. Hey. Say hi. Hi. Pup one. Pup two in her own world. Okay, here you go. Okay guys, so one hour. I'm gonna clock it on my phone and um, let's see. Put on some reading music, Spotify playlist. Let's see. And guess who just spilled their coffee all over the rug? <sighs> This is why I can't have nice things. So before I start reading, I am going to put the rug in the washing machine and hope that it gets the stains out. Oh, I'm so clumsy. <laughs> okay, back on track after that little snafu. Rug is in the wash. Clearly I've got some reading music playing and it only took me five minutes. So still got plenty of time to read and I'm gonna dive in. Currently on the creepiest elevator, remember? Here we go. Found it. La 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 la. Good morning, guys. So I'm with husband. We are going to the farmer's market because he's actually going to make some Akian salt fish for me later. Husband is Andrick, by the way. 
I've been hearing just referred to as husband. <laughs> um, so it's actually a Jamaican dish, and it's his first time cooking it. So fingers crossed it's going to turn out well. I'm also going to pick up some more coffee and some flowers, kind of get into that fall vibe. Um, I ended up finishing maybe like 30 more pages yesterday, and um, so far the book's good. I've got thoughts, but I'll tell you guys later. Right now we're going to pop in because it's already super crowded, and we don't want to wait in the line very long, so we'll check in in a bit. All right, so Farmer's Market was a success, and I picked up some new flowers. These are actually 50% off, so I went a little overboard and got three bunches. I only have two vases, but we're going to make it work. Um, Andrick is taking out the groceries because he is about to make some ackee and saltfish. Like I said, it's going to be his first time making it, so fingers crossed that it turns out well, right? I hope so. <laughs> I also got a package in the mail, and um, if it's what I think it is, then I will share it with you guys in a little bit. Uh, hint, it's something Gilmore Girls related. Um, so while I kind of strip these flowers down and put them in a vase. Also, one note, um, Intentionally Bookish is actually another channel <laughs> that she's not advertising at all as The okay. Daily Destination. <laughs> so Andrew and I have another channel called The Daily Destination. I'll link it. Oops, here, here. I haven't really figured out where to point. But I will link it, and it's essentially um, our travel videos. So um, we've got a couple that are local here in Atlanta where we live, and we also have some from our trip to Mexico. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check it out. Leave a comment, like, let us know what you think. Um, okay, so the book that I'm reading so far, um, which I think fits the challenge of, um, I'm drawing a blank, um, part of a series? No. I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, it's the one about the woman who is a um, book restorer. So, so far, it's pretty interesting. Oh, man, that smells so good. Um, however, there's one thing that bothers me that's happened twice already, and I'm a little over halfway done. And basically what it is is that one of the characters will drop this big bombshell of news, and um, instead of explaining it to the rest of the characters, they'll kind of draw it out, um, and that won't bother anybody, and that bothers me. So, perfect example, there was a scene where um, we find out that somebody wasn't actually dead, and so instead of kind of explaining the backstory about that, they instead make dinner and then say that they'll explain it later. Um, maybe it's weird. it's weird, That's right? Weird. Like, that would bother me. So the fact that none of the characters are bothered by that bothers me. Um, but the rest of the story, so far, is so good. Um, I actually got probably to the first climax, I would say, so the action has started to roll in, and hey, that's really this? good. It's um, one book in the grave. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I've been telling him about it. Um, yeah, so the action so far is really interesting. It's just that one little thing has been a nagging detail that I find a little annoying. So, um, okay, I'm going to do these because apparently I can't talk and do these at the same time, so... I'm going to turn the camera off, do these before I cut my fingers on the thorns, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. La, 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 la. I just uh, helped Andrick finish wrapping up his video. He actually made a video chronicling how he made the Jamaican ackee and saltfish, and it turned out pretty good, if I may say so myself. I'm typically not even a fan of that, but um, I don't know if it's because of the way he made it or third time being a charm for me trying it, but either way, we're gonna call that a success. So I wanted to hop on really quickly to show you my little Gilmore Girls merch. Um, 
um, I guess you can consider this an unboxing of sorts. I don't know, but I ordered this a few days ago on Amazon. Um, a little bit of an impulse purchase, if I'm being honest, but that's okay because... Da -da -da -da. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it is a Luke's mug. How cute is that? And it says on here, Stars Hollow, Connecticut. Oh, I'm super excited about this. I um, actually am gonna have some coffee in this right now because it is about noon, what, basically it's time for my second cup. So I'm going to enjoy a cup in my new mug and I'm gonna finish my book. Um, I think the last time that I checked in with you guys, I was a little over halfway done. Um, I checked my progress and I think I only have about mm, maybe 40 pages to go, less than I thought originally. So I should be able to bang that out this afternoon and then I will probably hop into the Lauren Graham book. Um, as you saw earlier, I was able to pick it up at the library and I think I'm actually going to read it. Um, I listened to the audiobook snippet for just a little bit and I think, <sighs> oops, I think it threw me off actually that Lauren Graham narrates it. Um, I find it a little bit too distracting. I'm not sure why because it's her book so it seems like it would only make sense that she narrates it and technically yes that's true and I'm sure most people enjoy that but it's throwing me off so I'm gonna read it um, using the library book that I got. I'll probably be able to go through it faster if I'm being honest um, but Anyway, I will check in with you guys again a little later on. Oh, and one quick thing <laughs> before I go back inside, because you're probably wondering, why are you outside? Um, it feels like fall. I know you guys can't tell because this is only an image, but the temperature is literally 30 degrees cooler than it has been all week. We're in the mid 70s. It's breezy. It's a little overcast. Perfect fall weather perfect weather for reading and so um, I'm actually going to I think light one of my fall candles that I have laying around from last year and curl up with a book. Perfect weather. I'm so excited about this. just made some coffee and um, I've been up for a few hours actually but for some reason I'm just now getting around to coffee hold on I am going to um, read a little bit before I have to get ready for work uh, luckily I'm working from home today so it's not like I have to get in the car and fight the commute so I'm gonna take advantage of that and um, hopefully we'll have a good day <laughs> break and I thought I would use the time to edit a couple of videos that I filmed already. Um, I got a little bit of reading done this morning as you saw and I'm hoping that this evening when I log off I can get some more done. So far so good. I um, am almost done with this one. I know the last time I checked in I said I had about like 40 or so pages to go but uh, I am having mixed feelings on this book, if I'm being honest. I like the topic. I like that the um, the main character is a book restorer. That is something that's interesting to me. And yet the action, it's, it's odd because it dips in and out. Like I mentioned earlier, there have been a couple of bombs dropped. Uh, not literal ones, but just in terms of like reveals. And instead of going into all the details, they will draw it out unnecessarily. So that's a little bit frustrating. 
and um, in some places it's moving a little slow which is why I think I'm having a hard time just finally finishing it because it's not even that big but anyway I started on another book earlier this morning just because I thought it would kind of help get me out of the rut and so hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to keep pushing through and just knock this one out happy Tuesday I think <laughs> I keep thinking that it's Thursday but we're not quite there I don't want to get ahead of myself anyway I am on my way to work I have to go into the office today and um, I'm expecting a package later on this afternoon and I'm hoping that it comes I will show you guys if it does um, I am going to listen to a little bit of an audiobook that I have queued up. To be honest, I don't remember which one because I finished Lord of the Wings already. So I think I might have to just go outside of my Gilmorethon TBR and just listen to whatever is available. Um, I will check in with you guys later after work. Have a great day! Okay, so I ended up getting two packages that I didn't expect. Um, the first one, which I knew was coming today, is the uh, drum roll. Ah, uh, my Harry Potter collection. Um, <laughs> these obviously are the paperback editions and the old school ones. The reason I chose these ones are because it just reminds me of my childhood and the copies that I had growing up. Um, <clears throat> I actually owned this series and this box set already, but I let my mother-in-law borrow it and she loves the books and she constantly rereads them, so I'm just gonna let her have that. And um, it just gives me an excuse for a brand new set. I'm so excited about this. My other package that I wasn't expecting, um, pretty sure it's book mail related as well yes haha -ha. it is umeneko when they cry this is a manga a horror thriller manga that i actually ordered um to read later on this month once i start reading darker stuff so right now for the gilmore girls tbr obviously the things that i'm reading are a lot more light-hearted in tone um atmospheric but in a cozy kind of way so this is part of switching gears to things that are darker it is about if i remember correctly um a family where i think the dad or the grandfather passes away and the kids come back um to the estate to kind of uh, claim their inheritance or something like that and a witch is involved and she curses them I could totally be misremembering, but I don't want to look up the synopsis again because I want to be surprised. So I will keep you guys posted on what this one is like. Busted. What are you doing? Hmm? What is that? Is that a shoe? Is that a shoe you're not supposed to be having? Drop. Mm-hmm. I know that face. I know that face. Hmm. Okay, let's go outside. Come on. Good morning, guys. I am. Um am making breakfast because I need to eat something before I go into work today. So I'm going to have some yogurt uh, and some granola. I've got my coffee, obviously. Um, 
If you've been following along, you see that I drink coffee like a Gilmore girl. So that is something that Lorelai and Rory and I have in common. So I'm going to quickly make this. Um, hopefully I have time to finish my coffee here and I don't have to take it to go. And um, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Oh, let me give you an update on my book, which I can't find. The Lauren Graham book. I'm gonna start on this today on my lunch break. And this one is taking forever. I'm trying not to DNF, well, I'm not gonna DNF it. It's just taking a long time to read because at this point I've kind of lost interest in the story sheerly out of frustration for how they are um, revealing the um, plot points. But I don't know, we'll see. I've got a few more, well, I've got a, a week maybe a little less than a week to finish it. So come hell or high water, this is being done. I will um, check in with you guys later. I haven't had coffee all the way, so my words still aren't coming to me, but hopefully caffeine will fix that. So cheers. a long day if I'm being honest. I um, had a lot of meetings. <laughs> there were a lot of small fires to put out, figuratively of course, because I'm not literally a firefighter. Um, but right now I think I'm actually gonna watch some TV to decompress. I could read, but if I'm being honest, I don't feel like it. So um, I'm just gonna chill for a little bit and oh, I got one thing. chill for a little bit with a cookie before dinner and um, just unwind. Mm. Oh man, yeah. I need this so bad. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Are you not looking? Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Good morning guys! Happy Friday TGIF! I am wearing my Babette ate oatmeal shirt in commemoration of it being Friday. It's still being the Gilmore go Gil Gilmore thon. Why is that so hard for me to say? I don't know. Anyway, I'm stoked that it's Friday. I've already had coffee if I'm being honest. Um, I just want to show again my Luke's mug, mm, mm, mm. which has been saving me this week at work. I actually took it to work with me um, when I went in this week and <laughs> everyone's been asking me because it looks familiar, but if you're not a fan of the show, you don't quite know where it's from. So I've been able to tell people, which gives me an excuse to talk about it. Anyway, I'm, I'm all Gilmore Girls this week. So I am working from home today, luckily, so I plan to actually do a bit more editing for some videos that I have going out soon. Um, I might run a couple of errands on my lunch break because today is not too busy, and uh, reading, I should probably talk about that. Okay, so let me grab my book, hold on. I have been reading my fall set book, my set and fall description book, and it's my Majoring in Murder, Murder She Wrote. And um, just like I thought, you know, plot is not too complicated. We follow Jessica Fletcher. She's um, being a guest professor at a local college. Somebody dies, she investigates, blah, blah, blah. However, the scenery is giving me all kinds of 
uh, Chilton vibes because it's set in fall. It's set at a um, college campus. I'm one of those weird people that likes to read. Well, I guess it doesn't really make me weird, but I'm one of those people who like to read stories set on campuses like boarding schools, colleges, etc. So this one is right up my alley. Plus, we've got that autumnal description of the leaves and the foliage and the cool, crisp weather. So eating it up. I'm really enjoying it. Lord Bradford knocks into the nail salon, hit him hard enough to knock him out, and then started a fire using a container full of gasoline. August continued. However, it would be in your best interest for the police to come up with a more plausible suspect. Ella May gave him a keen look. Who benefits from Knox's death? Happy Saturday! I'm here with Andrick and we are going to Best Buy, um, Lowe's to get some more plant babies and maybe I can convince him plant to stop babies. by the bookstore. Yeah, is that weird? That's kind of weird to say. Okay, plant not plant babies. babies. Not plant babies. <laughs> We're going to Lowe's to get plants. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a productive morning so far. I got a lot of editing done. Um, we both got in a workout and now it's time to just be out and about and enjoy the day. It feels like fall here in Atlanta, so we are going to take advantage of it fully. Happy Sunday. Um, Andrew and I just got to his parents' house. We're gonna hang here for a few hours. I've got the dogs with me and um, it is a rainy day, which I'm absolutely loving. So I'm gonna take advantage, chill for a little bit. I'll probably have another cup of coffee. You can see here, Bailey is waiting on me to <laughs> let her out of the car. Um, so I will check in with you guys later. Oh, and I finally, finished one book in the grave. I'll tell you guys about it later, but in short, I gave it a two star. I mean, to be honest, the middle dragged so much that the ending really just didn't make it worth it. Three hours later. I've been spending the better part of the afternoon editing, doing some reading. I am finally done with this one. Thank goodness. I finished it early this morning, literally only the last 30 pages and in the end I would probably give this like a two. Um, the ending turned out decent but it still couldn't make up for the fact that the middle dragged on so much. Uh, usually I like the details in this series and I like the author's use of the descriptions but for some reason this one was just overly explanatory and like I said it dragged on it didn't really add anything to the plot and more so than ever I was super annoyed by the fact that um they would have these big reveals and then would just ignore the explanation part and expect our main character to just go along with it so done with this thank goodness and I am deep well not that deep but I am reading the Lauren Graham book, which, I mean, <laughs> the role of Lorelai was written for her. Um, she narrates exactly how Lorelai would, and I just imagine Lorelai reading this book to me, which is great. So I am going to chill some more. Um, I've got my, oops, <laughs> I got my iced coffee and it's still raining here in Atlanta, which I'm thrilled about. I don't even think it's gotten over 70 degrees, which is amazing. So I'm going to take advantage by having a 
relaxing rest of the afternoon. I woke up really early this morning and I had coffee, did all of the things, and I think I'm coming down from my caffeine high for the first cup of coffee. So I think I'm going to make a second cup. Um, I've got like just a little bit left in this one. Um, what's happening? Like I said, no blah words. I am working from home today and I'm hoping that it's going to be quiet because it's Columbus Day and some people are out of the office because their kiddos don't have school today. So fingers crossed it's a pretty chill Monday. Um, I wanted to talk quickly about the Lauren Graham book, Talking As Fast As I Can, because I finished it yesterday. Um, I think I started it a couple of days ago, but I didn't get that far. Um, so yesterday evening when we got back from my mother-in-law's, I just hunkered down and just finished it off. And it was really good. Um, I don't, let's see, I haven't read an autobiography in years and I think I've only read maybe two, one or two and um, not including this one. And this one was great. I think it helps when you're already interested. Well, let me backtrack. I am hesitant sometimes to read autobiographies of people that I like simply because I have this notion in my head of the type of person that they are. And I have this irrational fear that reading their word straight from their own mouths and their own perspectives will somehow taint the image that I have. That was not the case with this one. Lauren Graham is Lorelai, in my opinion. She is just as funny. She is just as quick-witted. This book went into um, how she felt when they were doing the reboot of the Gilmore Girls, A Day in the Life, A, a Year in the Life, and it was an entertaining read. So I'm glad that I finished it. That makes for, I think, all of the books in my Gilmore Girls TBR completed, which is weird to say because there's still technically one more day to go in the readathon, not including today. So to be honest, I think I might just call it a wrap. And um, I've actually switched gears. I've actually switched gears because this week is the start of Spookathon. I'm still debating on whether or not... Uh, oh, the garbage does come. Hang on. <laughs> So apparently trash does come today, even though it's Columbus Day. I thought they didn't, so had to haul ass and take the garbage. Anywho, like I was saying, I finished all of the books for Gilmore Thon. Girl, well, still can't say that word. I finished all of the books for Gilmore Thon. So yay, confetti! Let's go down the list for a quick recap. Um, a book with a school setting. I finished majoring in litter. Check. A mother-daughter relationship book, Wrecked, which, check. Um, a cozy book set during fall slash winter, check. That was Lord of the Wings, which I listened to on audiobook. A book with complicated love interests, uh, check. Princess Jellyfish, oh, hold on. <laughs> Just remembered that I bought that on Kindle, so I actually don't have the copy uh, physical. I don't have a physical copy. Wait. Yeah. Words, guys. They're hard this morning. A book by an Asian author. 
that is also princess jellyfish too which i finished a series you haven't finished yet um that is one book in the grave check the aka the book that took me forever to get through so stupid not the book just the fact that i couldn't finish it in as quick of a time as i thought and a book with food on the cover which was pies and prejudice and i listened to that on audiobook and then of course the bonus read so i read all of the books i'm super proud of myself um here are the physical ones and then the other ones i'll link right here or here whatever um this is really fun. I love any excuse to go back into the world of Stars Hollow, and that's exactly what I did. I'm actually very happy that I waited until last to read the Lauren Graham book, only because it just kind of made everything come full circle and ending on such a high note that is talking about Gilmore Girls from a insider's perspective. So, um... I want to know how you guys did. If you were participating in a challenge, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And um, I guess that's about it. I know it's still technically early in the day on Monday and we still have Tuesday, but like I said, I finished all the books and I'm kind of switching gears now to focus on Spookathon. So I'm going to call it a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed following along and um, I guess look out for my next vlog or my wrap up video if you want to know in detail about any of the books that I read. Okay guys, bye!